Oh, look at your boy. Oh, I'm looking nice with your glasses. Oops, oops, oops. Yeah, let's get it. But anyway, we back with another video. We talking about the the, the 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 thing I hate about relationships. Like this is kind of paradox. This is kind of this is a good time and since I just low key got out of one. This is kind of a good perfect time. The thing is, the relationship. Me, the problems I have with some relationships is people. I have a couple things I want to run. I want to run down first, but number one, those people who are in relationships just to say they're in relationship because they're just so scared of being alone. They're so scared of just not being taken. They're just there'll be that one girl where you ask them, "Oh, you got a boyfriend?" You're like, "Yes, yes, yes, I got a boyfriend. Yes, yes, I'm getting him. Yes, him. That's your girlfriend there. Yes, 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 yes." It's like, okay, like, dang, call me, call me that. Like, call him now, like, yeah, like you won a Nobel Peace Prize, like. Slow your roll, huh? Slow your roll. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Some type of people, he like, every time, like, some type of people, like, I'll text you, I'll text you, like, you got the homework, and you be like, I got a boyfriend. Like, congratulations, but you, you got the homework, though? Like, you feel me? Some type of people. Second one, people who get in relationships just to make somebody mad. That is the worst type of, that's the worst type of relationship. That's the worst type ever. Like, you gonna get in a relationship just to make somebody else mad at you in a relationship. You're like, ooh, ooh, I just broke up with, I just broke up with Daquan. I'm gonna get with his best friend. I'm gonna get with his best friend, uh, Demetrius. Ooh, I'm, they gonna get mad and they are gonna fight over me. Like, you think that's an accomplishment? I don't think so. That's not really much of an accomplishment to me. But, I don't know what runs through y'all females' minds sometimes. I gotta, I gotta make a separate video about that. But I don't know what runs through y'all minds. Y'all, Y'all images, y'all whole perspective on life is warped sometimes, but I think all the time sometimes, but anyways, number three, peer pressure relationships, okay, we're not talking about, of course, high school, most of the time it don't happen in high school, I'm talking about middle school, elementary school, they would see you in the hall, they would walk by, like, yo, y'all need a date, y'all need a date all the time, y'all just, they, they, they just kept trying to force you on a date, but then, when y'all actually started dating, y'all didn't have no type of emotional connection. It was just you was with her just because her friends was forcing her onto you. And it just turns to a whole pile of doo-doo. You feel me? Like that. I gotta think of something. I gotta think of something. Those who are in relationships only because of the benefit of one person. You feel me? You, we talking about these basketball wives. Not just basketball wives. Like, just, if you're... If you're dating a prof if you're basically a professional, uh, the wife of a professional athlete, most most likely, is you can put in this category. If he wasn't, if he ain't had no money, if he wasn't balling like he was, you you would have passed you would have passed by him on the street. You would have just normally passed by, walked by him. You wouldn't even gave him the time of day. You feel me? And then the thing is, the bad thing is, you're only dating that person for that one quality, and then when that one quality goes away, you're just a normal person, like you feel me? Like it's not, it's not even, eh, whatever. And it's the worst thing is worst. The, number five, the worst of all, people who are in relationships but are unfaithful. Like, what's the point of you even being in a relationship if you still gonna go out and be a little thotty? Like, what's the point? Like, I was just on Twitter. I think I saw probably the best quote I've ever seen about relationships. It said, "Relationships sink." When there are too many people on board. Let me, re let me repeat that one more time. Relationships sink because there are too many people on board. You can't, you you know the story. You put too many people on the boat. The boat go sink. You feel me? Stop being unfaithful, man. You with the person. You you don't even love the person. If you were going to do all this ridiculousness, you feel me? But anyway. I'm done, you know, bro. A little quick video, five ways. I mean, five relationship problems that I really don't like about these people. But anyway, like the video. Leave a like. Leave a comment on what I should do next. Share the video with everybody. Share with everybody that you associate with. I'm going to need y'all to follow me on an Instagram. Follow me on a Snapchat. Like, add me. Follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on Twitter also. I will have that link down in the description. 
subscribe to the channel, of course. Hit that little bell on the side. Hit the bell. The bell, you know what I'm saying? Hit the bell so you can, the little, right next to the subscribe button. You see it right there? Hit that so you can know every time I upload a video. Like, hit it. You got to stroke it. You, you got to finesse. You got to pop it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm Machi. Until next time. All right. Peace.